any custom cloud management interface through that uh, northbound API. The next layer up is the control plane, and that's basically where we leverage our relationship with Alcatel and Lucent, and we virtualize the uh, service provider uh, router, the SR platform, and we virtualize the control plane, and with that we get a lot of maturity as well as uh, features in terms of routing, and that really what gives us a scale. So as your data center host number increases, you can add more controllers and federate them through MPBGP. And whether you have multi one data center or multiple data centers, you can peer these, uh, federate these controllers, including a provider edge router, whether it's uh, from another, uh, not necessarily Alcatel Lucent router, but any really uh, router. The next layer up uh, down is the virtualized uh, router and switch. And that basically is a virtual, uh, an instance of open vSwitch where we modify the current, we modify the user space. We don't modify the kernel space. And then we install that on the hypervisor. And that's where you get the distributed uh, routing and switching functionality all the way at, at the endpoint, entry of the virtual machine into the, 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 the network. We also support, obviously, containers, VMs, as well as physical uh, uh, appliances through a gateway functionality, whether it's uh, the VSG or um, uh, the virtual router and switch uh, gateway. The platform, all three layers can be deployed over any infrastructure without uh, any new investment in hardware and would work with private as well as public clouds. So as, uh, as you've seen before, so we like to think of it as a platform, an open platform, where um, we enable you to adapt to, to connect. Uh, sorry about that. Um, whether you're a cloud management platform that you want to connect on top of the new Watch VSP, or um, from a networking standpoint, all down at the hypervisor, whether it's a bare metal, uh, we support multiple hypervisors, uh, KVM, Zen, ESXi, whether it's containers, we're really open on all sides. Um, and that's kind of the, the value of the solution. It's not locked into one particular vendor. So we'll focus more about the topic for today, and that's security challenges. So today's security um, has been top of mind for all of our customers. Um, despite heavy investment in security, um, the number of breaches has continued to increase, and that's because the attacks are becoming more sophisticated. Um, lack of visibility for east-west traffic is also um, causing issues with the ability to detect um, attack threats inside the data center. And finally, a lot of the firewall rules and ACLs are manually configured. Uh, they become stale over time. It's difficult to adapt them to a cloud era. And using current approaches to address these challenges has its own set of problems. Obviously, within the perimeter, you have a lot of uh, high security products that are fo built for that uh, purpose, but it's difficult to assign those for east-west uh, security um, uh, problems. In terms of detection, it's very expensive to really um, have IPS and IDS to monitor the, the increasing volume of traffic between S east and west. Uh, in the data center, and then because of a lot of the manual processes and ACLs and firewall rules, it's difficult to take action once a threat has been detected. So what Nuage delivers today is basically a secure multi-tenancy uh, environment where you can actually, over one physical network, you can have multiple virtual networks. Within each virtual network, you can segment them to logical constructs, not necessarily uh, VLAN-based or IP-based, but logical grouping of, of workloads. And that, those two features are available to your workload regardless whether they're containers, virtual machines, or physical assets. And they work on any hypervisor and with any CMS simultaneously. And we also have some security features, so the ACL flow logging. Uh, we have role-based controls. And then you can have ACL sandwiches to provide more control and, and flexibility. Um, and I'll just dig deeper into the secure multi-tenancy uh, and flexible segmentation. So you can have, for example, over one physical network, Cisco's, uh, sorry, um, Coke's 
IT uh, department as well as Pepsi's HR department. So you can partition the network to two different users. Within each, you can micro-segment it based on the application that you're deploying. So you're not really locked into the way VLANs are configured or IP network. You have full flexibility into how you partition the network and monitor and connect it. Um, we also have tight integration with OpenStack um, in terms of OpenStack security groups. The next thing is visibility. Um, as I mentioned, the three components, they're designed so that we actually collect from a distributed endpoint all of the information, whether it's ACL flow-based, statistics, and report that back to syslog at the VSD, which is the policy manager. So that gives you visibility in what's happening in the network. Now, you can actually, because we're an open platform, you can bring in uh, any partner solution that would help you further analyze, and we'll show examples with the demos um, later on how we leverage that uh, feature set to, to help secure the data center. So basically, once you detect uh, a violation to your ACL rule, you can actually take action to, to quarantine a workload, and that's kind of the next uh, segment that I'll be talking about, where we have, you know, you have an allow all policy group, you have VMs, once a VM gets infected, you have an intrusion protection, uh, uh, prevention system, a detection system, can monitor that, detect that activity, and then trigger a call to VSD to move that workload automatically without user intervention to a more secure uh, policy group. So just to summarize, I mean, the new Azure VSP provides a multi -tenance, secure multi-tenancy for private and pr public cloud re without really a significant investment in infrastructure. It gives you the flexibility to segment the network as your needs evolve with a built-in layer for uh, distributed virtual firewall and then a flexible service insertion that allows you to build the best of breed solution that meets your needs uh, for above layer four protection. It's all policy based and we use a template based approach. So you basically design once and replicate. And for compliance, it's really critical because you can easily check and then validate and adjust accordingly. You don't have to touch a thousand entries. You just go modify your master and automatically get supplied the, across the network. And then faster response with our part integration with partners where through our API, uh, partners can leverage that interface to program the network or reprogram it to take action quickly. Um, and as I mentioned, you know, the solution has built-in security features, but we also know that there are partners that are really excel at specific uh, sec areas of security, such as next-gen firewall, advanced malware um, detection, endpoint integrity, and we have leveraged our partner ecosystem to uh, lev uh, add on to the VSP solution uh, with our service insertion framework. Again, whether it's physical or virtual, for us, it's the same. And we're also, uh, I just announced a certification, self-certification uh, program where partners can certify their solutions in the Nuage VSP. We've added a, a collection of partners that helped us complement the security aspect of the solutions. It's Palo Alto Network, some Fortinet for next-gen firewall, VRMR for distributed virtual firewalls, and Counterattack and Guardico for intrusion protection system, as well as ADC uh, solutions from Citrix and F5. We've updated our reference architecture, which we announced uh, last OpenStack Summit in Vancouver with those partners. And all of these partners, their solution have been certified to work within an OpenStack environment and Nuage uh, VSP. The integration with most of these partners has been done through our own VSPK, which is open source on GitHub. So to make it easy for partners to leverage uh, the VSP solution, um, you can go to github.com slash Nuage Networks and see examples of some of these integrations with some of those security partners. We also practice what we preach. So the partner program within Nuage has built a platform, a on demo on-demand platform and the certification where a partner can come and spin up an open stack in Nuage environment and deploy their solution and certify um, to work with uh, Nuage. So all of this is available uh, live demos at our booth. If uh, you're interested in talking more about uh, the integrations, please come and visit us at the booth. Thank you very much.